<laughs> Carlo, tell us, tell us about the game last night. I mean, obviously, we really, really enjoyed it. Um, into Milan came flying out the traps. Did, did, did the cat chase Milan a little bit unawares first 15, 20 minutes, did you think? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think we saw that there was a golfing class last night uh, and uh, Inter really turned up for the occasion, whereas Milan, I think they... I think they were nervous. I think that the occasion got to them, uh, especially in that in the opening stage of the game and in the first half. And Inter were just were just totally dominant. And I mean, they won two 0 I think they should have put the tie to bed yeah. uh, last night and and had it game over. Um, but yeah, Inter were Inter were absolutely fantastic. Whereas Milan, uh, I was really really disappointed with them. I have to be honest. Um, do you know what, Jekyll? What a, ah. you know, we thought maybe he was the <clears throat> the twilight his career, but he's still banging them in, Carlo. That was a fantastic finish. Was it a surprise also him starting before Lukaku, or was that expected? Well, he has been playing the, the big games um, this season. I mean, Lukaku was signed; he was brought back from Chelsea with the idea of him being a first choice striker. But most of the season's been pretty disastrous for Lukaku until the last month or so where he's really hit form and there has been calls for Lukaku to become the first choice striker again. But uh, Inzaghi, the coach, has been been sticking with Dzeko for the big games uh, and, it, and, you know, and it paid off. It was a brilliant goal, like you said. I mean, the technique on that... Oh, while you're tremendous. Tra- you'll know, you know, both of you guys as strikers will know, to be able to, to hold off a player on a corner and still have the balance and to hit it with your with your weaker foot, um, I thought it was a, it was a brilliant goal. Uh, and he was great. And I and I think I would just like to say one thing about Dzeko. I think he's been one of the most underrated strikers of his generation. Mm, yeah. I mean, how many players can you count? And he's been doing it for 15 years. Yep. He's 37 now. How many Brilliant, players, yeah. you know, Ronaldo, Messi, how many other strikers can you name that have yep. been at the top for 15 years? I mean, he's he's fantastic. He's been fantastic. Absolutely. So, Carlo, uh, how do you see the other tie going? Um, do, you, do you make it even Stevens at Real Madrid? They have to go to Manchester now, or do you make City just favourites? I mean, I think that Manchester City are a better team, um, uh, but it's just something about Madrid that you can mm. just never write. You can just never write them off. They just have that knack. I mean, I think it's a great result for City uh, in the first leg, uh, and obviously got the crowd behind them. Um, you know, they they should do it, but with Madrid, you know, they 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 just they've got that Champions League pedigree, um, so you would not be surprised if they they pulled something out of the bag again. Carlo, I've got kind of two questions for you. The first one, obviously, um, I think Milan clearly missed uh, Leal, who I think has been, been absolutely terrific and certainly one of their top players so far this season. H- will his return have a massive influence on the team? I mean, as we said, the tie could have been put to bed. It's still there. It's still got, obviously still a, an opportunity for Milan. I think they'll need a, a, an on-form and fit Leal. And have you, did you see anything last night from either of the teams that would indicate they, they've got a, a serious chance in the final against Isla City and Madrid? From Inter's side, no, because Inter are in fantastic form. They've, they've now won, they've got six wins in a row now, and they've scored 17 goals and conceded two in that time. They've just been playing brilliantly. They've hit form right at the right time of the season. Mm-hmm. So it is difficult to see Inter throwing it away. They've also got a very experienced team, very, you know, they've got quite a lot of old players who have been. Not necessarily in the semi-finals of the Champions League, but you know they've been there and done it yeah. uh, in other areas of the game. So it's hard from Inter's point of view. From Milan's point of view, I mean, yes, Rafael Leal is their best player. He is their match winner. Um, he is that one player that brings the X factor. And you know, if Milan were to get the first goal in the tie in the in the second leg, you know, early on, you know, it can change things. You know, they, they're still technically at home, although they, they won't have the fans. Yeah. The fans will be with Inter. So, you know, maybe playing without the pressure, going for it, maybe, you know, that could spur them on. But I think Inter are, are definitely strong, strong favourites. They've got one foot in the final. Yeah. So. Carlo, just one last one. I don't know if you know much about it. I read this morning, uh, Jose, he's uh, rubbishing rumours he could be on his way to PSG. Do you think he's happy at Roma? Will he stay there? <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, he's got one year left on his contract. Um, he's, I mean, he played it down, like you said. Uh, I... I think that he has been he has been complaining a lot recently, Mourinho, about the <laughs> options that he's got in his squad, the the the, the lack of investment uh, in the team, um, you know. But I guess Mourinho does that, doesn't he? Um, I think a lot maybe might depend on how the end of the season ends. You know, will Roma get in the Champions League next season? Uh, what promises has he been given in the in the transfer market? If he is content with that, 
I think he will stay because I think there is a, a real love affair between him and Roma. The fans absolutely love him. Uh, you know, they were singing his name the other day during the last game. Um, you know, I think he would like to stay, but I think also at the same time, I think Mourinho might fancy one more go at, at a big, big club. You know, he's been away for a while, hasn't he, since yeah. leaving Man United at, at a real giant. Tottenham, without, with all due respect, Tottenham and then Roma is not that. He's done well at Roma. He's won a cup last year and he could win another cup this year, the Europa League, you know. So, you know, I think at the back of his mind, he maybe fancies another go at the big, uh, big club, whether it's this Coming season or the season after, I think he, he, we'll see him at a big club one more time. Before the Carlo, end of his Carlo, just one final one, mate. I, I, I couldn't let you go without saying to you, uh, give us your views on the celebrations in Naples, man. Dear me, I, mean, <laughs> I saw a lot of footage. It was just unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, no, no one celebrates like the Neapolitans. I mean, my my mum's uh, family are from are, are wow. from Naples, and and you know they are just one of a kind. Um, you know they don't they do everything in excess, whether it's good or bad. And yeah, I mean the celebrations. I, mean, I don't know if you guys saw, but when the, when Napoli celebrated the game in the stadium, yeah. um, when they, they played against Fiorentina, they did the, like this three-hour uh, movie basically because their president Aurelio De Laurentiis is a movie producer, and you know they did this concert. They got all these artists in, but then the fans, the fireworks, the, the lap of honor, and then obviously in the around the city as well. Uh, I mean, it was amazing. It was like uh, you know nineteen. If you ever go onto YouTube and look at nineteen eighty-seven. Scudetto celebrations yeah. when they won their first with Maradona. It was like yeah. that yeah. all over again. It amazing. was amazing. Carlo, thank you. Thank you very Thanks, much. Carlo, Carlo Caraganese there. Thank you. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.